Welcome to my reactions for the Nickelodeon All-Star Ball character results for All-Star Ball 2. If there's a sequel, we still don't know if the game's real, and we've been waiting for a trailer. Everybody wants to see a trailer. I wanted to do my reactions tonight, and uh, as you can probably see from my shirt, just a little bit of some Nick vibes for SpongeBob's birthday and then something like that. But I wanted to just do give my own little reactions about the this character poll and look at this list of all the different variety of characters. I'm excited to see if this game is real. Still in the middle, just to see what else comes out. And I'll just say right now, the only thing that seems to be the most realistic is the boss art. I don't trust anything else. And um, hopefully we'll hear something soon. Um, and we'll probably be able to find out if the trailer comes out at some point. I did hear about some people saying, well, Nickelodeon might have some different, some some big news and new announcements coming out for July 18th. I'm not expecting anything in regards to the game. I don't even think it'll have anything to do with the game, to be honest. So um, for me, I'm just going to wait for a trailer or some kind of news to come out. And just for tonight, I just wanted to do a little bit of a reaction for this character, Paul, that's fan made from the Discord as well. It's very well done. I like the, the looks of the different variety of characters. And we have different characters, and that's what I really like the most. And so many different changes, especially with characters like Otis. And just and take a look at the top three right now. It's a little bit different from what you're used to seeing from all the different other characters that's represented like Squidward and so much more. But we're just going to go down the list of characters. And uh, if you haven't seen it, if, if you don't have Discord, I wanted to do this just for you guys so you guys can see what else is going on in the server. And you can stay up to date this way. So just a little bit of a video tonight. I'm not going to try to make it too long, but just wanted to react to the list. I like the variety. And just as we already can tell, everybody wants Timmy Turner to be in this game. So I'm hoping that Dell's really consider trying to push for him if he's actually going to be a playable character in this sort of kind of game um maybe if he's not in the base roster he can probably be one of the first dlc characters that they go for and i'm gonna just say this i hope that they don't just end up coming out with a couple characters and then see what they did we got jenny we got jenny wakeman or aka sj9 jenny wakeman then we got Hugh Neutron, then we got rocco rama but no one else came out to the game but prior to that universe pack getting revealed, we had Garfield and Shredder, who was supposedly supposed to be already in the game from the get-go. So, of course, I don't know the full story, but um, you guys can react to this how you want to. What do you guys think of these characters? And you guys can probably be able to see characters that you haven't seen before from uh, shows that you have never seen before. You could probably end up checking some of these shows out. So, just seeing these, I'm just going to be able to react to them and just go through them. And you can let me know in the comments of which characters interest you and maybe some of your top 25 if you have a top 25 or a list of characters that you're hoping to see make it into this game. So for me, I don't care who's in the game. I want to see Timmy Turner. He's one of my favorites, but I hope that they consider doing way more than what they have been doing for some of these games. And they just come out with a couple of things and then they just leave it for dead and then it just goes off into the dust and into the sunset and then you're moving on to a whole different, completely different game. This is a great game. It's so much fun. I'm still playing it even when nothing's going on. So it's just so much fun. I'm just laughing, making these requests <laughs> with all the different characters that y'all want to see, see me play at. So it's just super fun to play anyway. So hopefully they'll be able to add along more modes and just not just thinking about just characters more modes for us to get into story mode, maybe expanding that arcade a little bit and making it a little bit more better and longer. So we'll be able to have more to offer. And then that cross play is something that's still missing. Don't know what's going on with that. Maybe that got moved into the sequel or maybe it's going to be a completely different game. But let's just start talking about these characters. I just wanted to share some of that and just say a couple of things about this, this game. So we got Timmy Turner. Hopefully we get fairly odd parents. I haven't seen all of these shows and uh, I don't have just I don't remember some of them, even some new faces that I didn't expect to see in this poll list. We got Timmy Turner. Hopefully he can get into the game. And just like I was saying before, he should be able to come out with Cosmo and Wanda to have him back, have them as backup so where the player can be able to switch between Cosmo and Wanda as the active fairy on the field to grant Timmy certain wishes and either buff them or just give them certain boosts and bonuses and stuff like that 
Cosmo and Wanda can have their own individual wishes to grant to Timmy Turner uh, as his fairly godparent. So it'll be awesome to see that happen. So I don't see him coming into the game solo. Definitely Cosmo and Wanda is going to have some kind of special role in his moveset. And that's how I think he can really play. Otis, I'm surprised to see him in this, in this poll from the back to the barnyard. It's crazy to see that he gets the top, the second spot from this. So, um, and Miko from Glitch Text. Now, Glitch Text is on Netflix, so I don't know if they're going to really try to go after this character. A lot of people have mentioned Miko, and even some of y'all out there are, have got to be excited to see her make the top three, which is even more surprising. So, Another show that I like, one of my personal favorites, I don't see not, not enough people talk about Chalk Zone for Snap. I want to also see Rudy come into the game. Snap can be his own character. I don't think Rudy and Snap need to be a duo. Snap can be his own character and Rudy holding that Chalk. He's got the Chalk, the magic Chalk. He can create just about anything with that. And the devs can really be a lot, um, a lot just creative with what he can create with that Chalk. Now, Mr. Krabs, I'm surprised he placed higher than Squidward. So it's, it's crazy to see him get the top five. But I feel like most people already know that maybe it's a high chance that Squidward is probably going to be in the next game, whatever they choose to come out with, even if it's not a sequel, maybe whatever the case may be, Squidward is probably bound to be in the game as a playable character, especially if he's in Kart Racers 3. Why not include someone else from the spawn as another additional SpongeBob route outside of SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, like Mr. Krabs, for example. And just like I always just like saying, he can throw his money at you. <laughs> and his laugh from the show. Ar, 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 ar. <laughs> I would like to see him have his laugh, his iconic laugh, and just like Squidward as well. <laughs> It'll be so much fun playing as these characters. And just the voice lines is just going to make it even more fun to really see what they say. And maybe they can have unique interactions with each other, like Mr. Krabs and Squidward. Hey, Mr. Squidward, you see what I'm saying? He can be able to have different interactions with uh, certain characters. I don't know if they're going to do that for this kind of game, though, but maybe as a story mode or some kind of mode where the characters can meet and be able to interact with each other, similar to Nintendo's Unite. So they can do something like that for the game for an extra mode. Why not? And then Plankton, I like seeing him in it. This game definitely needs way more villains. And it's not enough villains in this character poll list, unfortunately, but it's cool to see some iconic ones that deserve to be in this game. Plankton, um, I see him as a duo with Karen. He can be in the mech, but I from I made a moveset for several of these characters already here on the channel. If you guys are interested, uh, I think they can play Plankton, Mr. Krabs. Snap, Timmy, and Miko, and so much more, Zuko, Squidward, etc. faces. But I just see Plankton being in some kind of mech, but he can also have a special role with Karen together as a duo, and they can work together and be a dangerous uh, fighter to be someone to look out for. Even though he's small, he's definitely going to be super dangerous. They got Sir Bot in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. What's stopping them from having short characters like Plankton getting featured into the roster? We definitely need more duos. We got Daggett and Norbert from Angry Beavers. I don't see enough people talk about them and mention them. We need more duo fighters. We need underrated shows and like Angry Beavers and Rocket Power and so much other shows that's still missing that people don't really talk about that much. And so a duo with uh, Dagger and Norbert, you can switch between the active beaver that you want, or maybe they can play like some of y'all are saying, they can probably play like Ice Climbers. That's some kind of little idea. Zuko, we definitely need somebody from uh, the Fire Nation. We don't have a single Fire Nation rep for this game. He's playable in Kart Racers 3. Zuko is definitely more than guaranteed to be the next playable character if this game comes out to come to fruition as being something real. So I'm excited to see what they do. Squidward is another uh, option. And just like I mentioned, it's definitely guaranteed as a high chance we'll see Squidward and Mr. Krabs and maybe some other additional SpongeBob Rose can get into the game. Jimmy Neutron, this game is called Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Jimmy Neutron is definitely one of the top All-Stars. And I thought he was going to be in this game. I thought he would be in the next universe pack, maybe the second one, if they did one at some point. But 
I guess we're not going to probably end up getting one. So I'm not sure what's going to possibly happen. But if there is a new game, Jimmy Neutron is definitely going to be likely. And similar to what I said about Kart Racers 3 with Zuko, see how he's playable. Jimmy Neutron is also playable in the game as well as Cindy. So he's definitely going to be playable. And I can definitely see him in another game. Vex is another icon of villain I want to see that I think in the spotlight. And she can go head to head with Jimmy trying to get her to join the Cluster Pride. See what I'm saying? Things like that. And other shows that people don't talk about. Just another underrated shows. Bessie from Mighty B. Bessie Hickenbottom. Of course, it's awesome to see her for number 12 and making this list and a little bit higher. And Kitty Caswell is also placed a little bit higher than I ever seen. And I didn't even see, I, I'm surprised to see No Dudley Puppy is not even in this, in this list from just looking at it. And then El Tigre, I think he can definitely be one of the best characters super fast with insane combos and his stage i would like to see that and um what's it called river city i forgot the name of the setting but i haven't seen in a while and we got rudy up in here as well for number 15 so as you guys can probably be able to see vendetta from making fiends another great show that i heard didn't last too long but why not bring some of these shows back you see i already talked about lt ray Rocket Power More, Making Fiends. Let's get some of these shows represented. And even though they don't exist, why not bring them back as playable characters? And you got all these memorable shows that brings up so much nostalgia and so much more. And shows like number 17, Fanboy and Chum Chum, I haven't even seen this show before. And some of you guys want to see them. And then we're moving on to more of the newer shows that's getting more promoted by Nickelodeon. The Loud House, for example. I'm surprised to see Luann Lau in this list, she was never really in the polls that's made the top, the top 25, at least from what I've seen from all the other polls. She wasn't even in the top 10, top 15. It was just other characters. So a new, one new Loud House member is only Lincoln Loud and Lucy Loud that's representing this game. We got Dib as a single rep. Zim is the only single rep from his show. You got Dib. He can get into the game. I would like to see Professor uh, Membrane as well, but he's not even in this list. Tack from the Tack and the Power of Juju. I haven't played the games, but I like the show, and I heard so many great things about the games. Hopefully, they'll probably one day bring those back as a little bit of a remastered trilogy. You never know. Cat Scratch, another favorite show that I love watching. I grew up watching back then. Mr. Blick is one of the Cat Scratch members. You got Gordon, and then the other one, Waffle. Hopefully, they can also get get into the game alongside of them. I can see them play, being playable as a trio, where you can switch between them. So it's like Pokemon Trainer, Squirtle, Charizard, and Ivysaur. You see what I'm saying? They can do something like that. And then we have Luna. I get Luna and Luan Lao mixed up. I haven't seen too much of Lao House, but we got two different Lao House members making this poll. I would definitely, I, from the La House, I would definitely would have picked Lena Lau. That comes to mind, Lynn and Lena, and then maybe Ronnie Ann, but nothing against Luann and Luna. So I'm cool with whoever they choose to get from the La House, personally. And then Kappa Mikey, a recent show that I've recently been watching that I really enjoy. I want to see him get into this game. <laughs> Kappa Mikey for number 23. And then I didn't even know who Rango was. I was talking about it the other day. This is the first time I even seen Rango. And so when you guys said he's a sheriff, so he's a protagonist character from the movie Rango. So, and it's a Nickelodeon character. I didn't even think he was a Nickelodeon character at all. So he's the, out of everybody in this poll, even though I haven't seen The Loud House too much, only seen a couple episodes. I already know who Ember is. Perfect for Danny Phantom. Another member, Vlad Plasmius. I'm surprised Plasmius is not even in this list and so many others. But Rango is the newest character that I don't recognize from this show or just from this whole entire poll, Rango is the newest face. I've never seen this character at all. But who knows what he's going to possibly be able to do. Hopefully they can slip in a live action character. I hope that they can. Maybe one like Amazing Kreskin, the psychic magician from the 90s, just for a little bit of a, a just an even more unique sort of moveset, or I don't say a moveset, but a unique roster to add who can have such a unique moveset, I would like to see him in the game and so many other characters that's missing. We don't even have a Rocket Power character on this list. None of the turtles are in it. Donatello and Raphael, Casey Jones, Master Splinter, and so much more. 
we got other villains that's missing in this game and so much more that can get represented. Professor Calamitous from Jimmy Neutron, Mr. Crocker from Fairly Odd Parents, and then just from that show, Jordan, Jordan Von Strangle, the strongest, most powerful fairy in Fairy World. They got a lot of different characters. But I've definitely got to say, this is a nice poll. I like the variety, the different variety of characters. I'm shocked to see the, this top three list with Otis and Miko. <laughs> so I don't mind whoever they end up getting. I just hope that they can get all these characters in the game at some point, whatever they choose to do. Hopefully the game is real. Maybe we'll see that trailer at some point. But I'm not expecting anything for those new Nickelodeon announcements. It'll, it'll probably be another potential day that they can do stuff like that. Announce an, a sequel or something to do with Nickelodeon All-Star Ball. But I don't see it happening at this little animation special on the, um, the 18. But let me know what you guys think of this poll. Who's some of your favorite characters and who would you like to see?